Debt is the reason we're all in this mess. Not because debt is bad, and not because we have necessarily borrowed, but we are a society educated into debt when we go to university. All our youth are now given debt. It is compulsory borrowing. All those are grandparents out there who say debt is wrong, I'm sorry. Government enforced borrowing is now part of our society. Now, I don't necessarily have a problem with that. My problem is far more we're educated into debt, but never at any point are we educated about debt. And that is the real tragedy. We have no compulsory financial education in our schools. We only provide help. Well, let me ask you a question. You want to know what the best credit card is. You want to get a loan. You're not allowed on the internet. Who would you ask? Financial advisor? Well, they don't cover debt. Debt crisis counselling centre? Well, you're not in debt crisis. You're looking to borrow. They don't cover debt. <laughs> Your bank? Exactly. Your bank is there to flog your products. It's not there to help you. It's not there to look after you. It's there to sell you things. By the way, what I thought we'd do is we'd play a little game. Do you want to play? Good debt, bad debt game. My favourite game. Really easy. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. I'm going to ask you whether they are good or bad debt. This is what I did when I did the teen cash class with a group of 15-year-olds. And it's, it's a lot more powerful than you think. Shall we start with the first one? I've been saving up for five years to get a deposit for a house. I've managed to save up 30% of what the property I need to buy. I'm going to live in the property for about 20 years, but I need to get a mortgage. I've been to a good mortgage bro broker, whole of market, and I went and checked out the direct deals on the FSA's website to ensure that I'm getting the cheapest possible mortgage that I can. Everything's fine. I've checked. It's well within my range. I'm fixing for security because I don't want it to go too far, but I've got a fantastic rate. Good debt, bad debt. Let, good debt, bad debt? Good. So what have we just learned? Well, we've learned that debt isn't bad, which you'll often hear. One of the crucial lessons that you can pass on to young people out there is we are often pariahs about debt. We often say debt is bad. But if we start to do that, then what you do is you're instantly educating away from any form of realisation that there is a difference between good debt and bad debt, that sometimes borrowing is right and sometimes borrowing is wrong. And again, the, the bigger picture of the economy that we're in now is all because people haven't judged when they should be borrowing and how to do it right and how to budget for it. Question number two. <laughs> I've just seen this holiday to Jamaica. It's £10,000. I earn £5,000 a year. But the credit card company says it'll give me the money. And the interest rate is only 10% a month. Good debt, bad debt? Okay, easy peasy, yeah? Not a problem.